Hi there, my name is Dr. Steve Shoshani. I'm a chiropractor in Manhattan in New York City. Uh, today I'm going to talk about some integrated care and some of the modalities we use in our practice. Specifically, I'm going to be talking about cold laser therapy. I've been utilizing cold laser therapy for over seven years in my practice now, and it's been tremendous in helping patients that have problems like plantar fasciitis, shoulder pain, neck pain, sciatica. Uh, in the last year and a half, we've introduced class four laser, which is called hot laser therapy. And I'm gonna explain the difference between cold laser therapy, hot laser therapy, and their applications. Um, a lot of times I get questions as to the what type of cold laser do I use. I use a cold laser by a company called Erconia. It's a class three A laser. We're using the PL series. And what's nice about the cold laser and why it's called cold is because when we're doing the cold laser treatment, patients don't feel anything. It's actually cold. Uh, it doesn't produce heat. It's very safe. Eye protection isn't necessary. And uh, I've had great success in helping patients with carpal tunnel syndrome, plantar fasciitis, and other ailments. So hot laser is a class four laser, which the light penetrates much deeper and it produces a heat. Uh, that's why eye protection is necessary for both the clinician and the person getting treatment. So with the class four laser, the patient will definitely feel warmth. We're using uh, light cure lasers and why we got into using a class four laser is because I wanna be able to penetrate deeper into the tissue. Uh, with the cold laser therapy, I've had difficulty in reaching structures like the glute, which is a deep muscle, or specifically patients that have hip pain, deep hip pain or hip flexors, a class four laser is able to get deeper into the disc or into the sciatic nerve and produce that light into that area it can actually help speed up the tissue healing and reduce the patient's pain. Some patients will start out with the hot laser and finish with the cold laser. Other patients will do exclusively with the hot laser. So it really depends on the patient's presentation. If they're an acute injury or they were just hurt, we tend to stick with the cold laser therapy because patients uh, will do better without introducing more heat. If it's much more chronic of an issue, someone that has a really painful hip and have had it for years, we'll go straight to the hot laser. So it really depends on the application and what the patient can tolerate. Utilizing the cold laser therapy, I think we've had our most success in patients that have plantar fasciitis. If you don't know what plantar fasciitis is, you'd never had it. But if you've had it, you definitely know the term. It's a very painful condition which the bottom of your feet, the, the fascia, which is the connective tissue, becomes inflamed and you have pain in your feet. Some people wind up going to podiatrists and getting really painful injections of steroids into the bottom of the foot and it hurts to get this injection and it doesn't always help. So cold laser is a very passive treatment. Patients come in, they lie on their back, we shine the light into the bottom of the foot, usually within three to five visits, uh, their pain is erased and we've had amazing results with it. So with the class four laser, I've had it in my practice for about a year and a half and what I've been really impressed with is the ability to penetrate deep into the tissue. So we see people coming in with really deep hamstring pulls or injuries uh, and have tremendous success with that. We've also seen patients with hip flexors, specifically runners that have deep hip flexor pulls. This deep laser therapy combined with some active release technique can really get the patients back to running pain-free within a visit or two. So with all these treatments, they're supplemental treatments, meaning most of the time they're not standalone treatments. We implement this along with chiropractic care and or physical therapy, therefore optimizing uh, peak results.